Hey everyone, in this video we are going to be uh, trying a few games on my Dell Dimension 4600. Now, I'm not sure why it's telling me a network cable is unplugged unless it's fallen out of the hub. But anyway, this one I forgot about but this one does have an upgrade slot for a video card. There might be something wrong with the Ethernet because it keeps connecting and disconnecting, but anyway. Whereas the 1100 and the 2400 that I gave to a friend doesn't. So um, I've got a feeling this is going to play all the games fine. But yeah, this really is not. Liking that is it? Yeah, it's telling me the antivirus is out of date. Now, I'm going to take this one out of the equation just because it's such a kerfuffle to install it. But uh, I'm going to switch the games around a little bit just for a bit of variation. So I'm going to put this one in, which is called. Family Games, or Family More Arcade Games, I don't know what the grammar is on that, it's all written weird. So I have actually no idea, that I don't know how many games are on this. That was making some weird noises. Ow! need to install anything? It seems like AVG is actually updating. Right, so... <laughs> I'm just going to pick one. Let's try 3D Shooter 1. Yeah, I don't think they're actually installed. I think it plays it straight from the disc from the look of it. Oh, I see. What's the reload button? Ballistic Bananas. Oh shit. It's cricked. Clip cricked. I cricked on one. Clicked on one I didn't want to click on. Oh, some of them actually do need to be installed. Big Money Deluxe, Blotter Ghost, Bonzala, Brave Dwarves, Bubble Trouble, AI's Home. We've got Ballistic Bananas here, right. Start going, shall we?
and that joystick not fired. Owl's home. Okay. This is just another random game I picked up in my travels around cherry shops. These speakers are really loud. Look how low I've got that. Almost muted. give to your kids to play really isn't it this one just to keep them amused for a little while and by a little while I mean about 10 minutes before they get bored of it let's try taxi racer again then I'm gonna go find something else Let's just, while it's doing that, let's just find out what the processor is, just to refresh my own memory as well. Because I can't remember. It was ages since I've seen the old uh, flashlight moving like that. It should have a gigabyte of RAM on it as well. Either way, it does seem to be a bit slow. <laughs> 2.8 gigahertz Pentium 4, yeah, and a gigabyte of RAM, so. Sure, I'm hearing voices on the other side. Taxi Racer, New York, 2.0. I don't know why us British call it an O, it's a zero. You know, it's a number, not a letter. We have no idea why we do that. Taxi Razor is installed. Let's run it. The video card on here should work fine. The 1100, that will be an interesting one, because that's only got the onboard graphics. So I think that will be my next one in the list. There's multiplayer on this as well. A 
so far, all the XP machines I built seem to have an upgraded video card in. Well, the advent previous to this one had to have a video card in because there's no onboard video. There's no built-in graphics on the motherboard, so... Yep, this is playing absolutely fine. I'm not seeing any of that. Oh, a bit of a glitch there. I said I didn't see that red wall. <laughs> I just thought the bridge went somewhere. That's why I went up here. Where was it? Went to a dead end. Oh, no, that's the way I kept. Whoa! Very large map. I wonder. What's that? Whoa! I found out what that was. Just sort of go over the hedge. Oh, hang on. What's that green bar? Is that actually damage? Is that damage? Like this one's a, a pass as well. I can play the games I want to play on this one for a standard sort of OEM based machine. So the next video is going to be the 1100. And I'm going to get some different games for that one just to spice things up a bit. So thanks for watching as always. Hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye.